Hi there, my name is Stijn Niesen of the Royal Veterinary College. I'm a veterinary specialist here. I teach endocrinology and I also run a few endocrinology um, clinics. One of them is the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic. Um, and it says it already in the word. We focus on diabetic remission and how to achieve it. So what is diabetic remission? Diabetic remission means that a previously diagnosed diabetic doesn't need insulin injections anymore and that sounds great doesn't it and we would like to achieve that in as many diabetic animals as possible now first of all it is going to be unlikely to happen in a diabetic dog um, and that comes down to the fact that diabetic dogs get their diabetes through a different process than diabetic cats in diabetic dogs we tend to see the immune system going berserk and destroying the beta cells in the pancreas the beta cells are the cells that make the insulin in the first place. So once they have disappeared, it is very diff difficult and almost impossible to get those cells to reappear and start producing insulin again. In the cat, there is a different story. Cats suffer from a type of diabetes which we think, although research is still ongoing, is very similar to type 2 diabetes mellitus in the human beings. Um, and therefore they suffer from a combination of their beta cells, those cells that make insulin not working very well, and insulin resistance, which means the body does not respond as well to the insulin. It does therefore mean that we've got some beta cells still present in the diabetic cat and therefore we can try and achieve remission. Now let's be clear about it. There will be many sources on Google and on the web that tell you exactly how to achieve diabetic remission. There actually is very limited evidence to tell you truthfully and on the basis of an evidence uh, clear pathway how to achieve diabetic remission. But there are some trends that we can stick to. So how to achieve diabetic remission? The first step is to figure out the type of diabetes that our diabetic cat is suffering from. And the main disease we want to exclude there is acromegaly. There you go. And people following the diabetic remission clinic on Facebook will have heard of this term before. Acromegaly is a disease that is caused by a pituitary tumor which sits in the head and that overproduces a hormone called growth hormone and that causes the insulin not to work very well. So these cats become insulin resistant and that's the reason why they end up with diabetes mellitus. If you want to get those cats into diabetic remission, you need to cure the acromegaly and then the diabetes will go away as well in most of the cases, especially if we get to diagnose it early and we use effective treatment like hypovasectomy, which is removing the tumor or some medical treatments as well. Okay. If we have excluded acromegaly, which we can do by a simple blood test, which is called IGF1, insulin-like growth factor 1. You can ask your vet about it. It's one blood sample that gets sent off to the lab. If we have excluded acromegaly, then we can focus on other ways of trying to get rid of that normal type 2 diabetes mellitus that is affecting the cat. And what we then need to do is do our best at controlling the glucose levels. And what that means exactly, we haven't figured out. So we really haven't figured out yet how low you need to go with the blood sugar levels um, and whether or not one protocol is better than the other. We still need randomized clinical trials to figure that one out. And that's exactly why we have founded the Feline Diabetic Remission Clinic to come up with the evidence. Current evidence is very much based on a small group of animals that get exposed to different insulin types and often without a control group. And let's be honest, if you were prescribed a drug by your own doctor, a drug that was tested on only eight uh, people before, would you be feeling completely comfortable that you were going to do well on that particular drug? Probably no, right? So in human medicine, this would be unheard of. Yet in veterinary medicine, we make decisions, often forced, we are often forced to do so, um, on the basis of small little case studies. And this is something we want to change. So with the help of you and your vets, we hopefully can enroll enough diabetic cats into clinical trials to give you the evidence 
to figure out what the exact recipe is of diabetic remission. We overall know that it does involve getting a good grip on the diabetic control, so getting the glucose levels lower, but how to do that exactly is a matter for us to find out, hopefully with your help. So keep an eye on our Facebook page for any call outs for recruitment of patients, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.